我们要回去台湾。So we're super excited to announce that we are finally, after what, three? Too long. Yeah, four years. Too long. We are going to be coming back to Taiwan. Forever? Not forever, no. Yeah. It's only a short trip this time because we can't stay away for that long. We made the decision that we wanted to come back a long, long time ago. Yeah. And we have spent months, I'd say, dilly-dallying over when we should book to come. We kept putting off booking it because we were like, oh, it's a really long, it's a really long flight for not very long. Yeah. Is it a good idea? And I think we came to the conclusion that... <laughs> yes, it was a very good idea. It's always a good idea to come to Taiwan. <laughs> yeah. So you might be wondering why we've made this into a video. And the reason for that is it's not really a video about us. It's a call for help. A call for help from, from you. you. <laughs> so we've not got long, but we are hoping to come end of October, beginning of November. And we want suggestions. We want to do and eat <laughs> as many things as possible. So if you have suggestions for exciting things that are happening or places that you really enjoy or things that you like to eat, let us know because I at the moment I'm getting into... Full itinerary. Mode. <laughs> oh. Unfortunately, we're not going to have a huge amount of time for traveling all around the island. So we're looking mainly for suggestions in Taipei. And around Taipei. And what is it you're most looking forward to about coming back to Taiwan? I think as we live in a village, I'm looking forward to feeling yeah in it being in the city yeah seeing sights yeah. like the night markets and things everything yes. going on we literally live in a village here in the uk that has less than two thousand people so going from that to coming back to taipei is going to be pretty crazy <laughs> and we're quite a long way away from any major cities yeah we're we're a distance so it's quite nice, the idea of being in somewhere, not just a city, but like a mate, what, a capital. Yeah, all, all the variety that brings. I'm not just talking about food. I'm largely talking about food, but I'm not just talking yes. about food. Like all the variety that being in such a like big, exciting city has. I feel like in Taipei as well, you turn a corner and there's something to look at. There's, yeah, something, there's something new. There's something new. There's something exciting in yeah. a way that, I mean, you turn the corner here and there's sheep. Yeah. So. I'm looking forward to that moment when we're walking around somewhere randomly and we see a big queue of people lining up for something yes. and you know that there's something either that's new and exciting or something that's really well established and everybody loves. So we will be joining that queue. We will be joining Well, all you of will the be queues. joining the queue. I will go off and see what else is in the area and then come back when you're further up the queue. Fair. I am fully expecting to live for the entire time that we're there purely fueled on caffeine. <laughs> Uh, because I will not be sleeping. Exactly. I'm going to, to cram in sights, food, experiences, vistas, walks, you name it. It's in the itinerary. Perfect. But... We're going to be tired. Yes. <laughs> and I also want to make sure that what we are doing is the best it has to offer. So Yeah, definitely. I don't want to do things that we've done before. But I also want to do the things we've done before. The stuff be, that we know is good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so that's why we, why we want recommendations so that we know it's going to be worth worth doing. Yeah, it's, it's going to be serious jet lag. I mean, we've got. Oh, I do not. I do not cope well with jet lag. By the time we arrive, it'll be an eight-hour time difference. Great. And it's going to be fourteen hours on the flight out and 16 hours on the flight back, and Who they're needs direct sleep? flights, so there's no like break in that. No one needs sleep. I am really excited so about it. So excited. I'm so excited. It's just some... I love having things to look forward to. And mm. normally the things that you have to look forward to are like meeting with friends or maybe somebody's getting married or you've got an event planned with family or whatever. We have Taiwan. We have Taiwan. <laughs> I'm so excited. So if you want to see what happened last time we were in Taiwan, check out our most recent video where we put a whole year of life in Taiwan into 100 seconds. And we'll see you really soon.